The definition of perfect is the condition, state, or quality of being free or as free as possible from all flaws or defects. And this is the perfection loop. But is it perfect? And before we decide that, let's learn how to tie it. To tie this knot, I'm going to start by making an underhand loop. And then follow that with an overhand loop that lays on top of the first one. The running end then continues behind the standing end on the left. From there, place the running end in between the two loops you first made and make sure it sits to the very left of those two loops. And then finally, pull the loop in the middle under and through the loop on the very right. As you do that, hold the standing end in place and let the knot form. We now have our fixed perfection loop. Fixed, of course, meaning that it will not cinch closed if you pull on the loop or the standing end. Now, in case this was confusing at all, here's how the knot looks tied flat on the table. Start off with the underhand loop. Second, make an overhand loop laying it on top of the first loop. Then the running end goes behind the standing end. Bring the running end up and place it in between the two loops. And then from there, pull the loop in the middle under and through the loop on the very most right to form the knot. So as you can see, this knot is very easy to tie and it's easy to untie. In terms of general knot tying, I'd say this knot is somewhat similar to the bowline, but I do know that this knot is primarily used for fishing to attach your fly fishing leader to your line or to connect sinkers to your bottom fishing rigs. However, of course, you could use this for general utility purposes when in case you need a fixed loop at the end of a line. Perhaps you not experts can let me know in the comments why it's called the perfection loop. Is it actually perfect? Well, I think that'll be for you to decide. I mean, I'm not the boss of you. 